So today, we're going to talk about how to provide a forging opportunity with just these little cheapy organizer trays that you can um, get for your drawers and things like that. There are smaller ones for smaller birds. You can also connect to this type if you want to use all three. So in these trays, sometimes I just put paper from my paper shredder. Um, today I didn't have any, so I just used paper shred that I buy from the store. And I just covered the bottom. The very first time that you show your bird this, you may want to just put nothing in the tray so that they can see their stuff down there. But this is actually going to be for Taz, and she's my rose-breasted cockatoo over here. And Taz has done this before, so she knows that when she gets this tray, um, there's going to be stuff in it. So there's a few different things you can do then to increase the complexity, or when you're just starting out even, like I said, use it empty. And then slowly add treats to it. So here I just have some little sunflower seed meats, and you can just sprinkle them in there like that. So she'll always know that there's something out in the open for her to look for. You can also add complexity by putting in some wrapped treats, what you've seen. So this one has an almond in it. I'm going to put that under there and I'm going to cover it up. And this one I believe has a cashew. I'll put that over there and cover it up. You can also just put some bigger ones in there, just toss them. They sometimes fall to the bottom. You can use some dried fruit and veggies, toss them in there and cover it up. And you can also put some shreddables in there. It doesn't just have to be edible things like the paper and stuff, things that they have to work around to find the things that they want to eat because that's what they would be doing out in the wild. This is just another shreddable there. And then I also have this little tiny um, treasure chest that has a pine nut in it, so she'll have to actually get to the box and then open it. This is new for her, so I don't expect her to get this today. She's never even opened one of those before. So um, another thing you can do is you can put more layers of the paper on top mm -hmm. to increase the complexity. You could also put the entire thing in a paper bag and seal it up so that they have to get through the paper bag first in order to get to the tray. And then you could also just use paper to cover it up. Um, so I haven't done that yet with Taz, but you could just wrap this paper around, tape it on the bottom, and then go from there. So let's see if Baby would like her tray here. A shreddable. She's pretty involved with her buckets there. Let's see if she'll want to come over here. In here I have a piece of balsa wood that has a safflower seed pushed into the hole in the middle. Let's see if we can get a little better focused here. And then here is another toy um, that I have seeds stuck into. This is Baby doing some forging like I showed before in her little buckets and she's pretty into her buckets so she just doesn't want to check out her tray right now which is fine. Let's go over here and see if Taz would like her little tray that we made up. You, come here, you come on. What you doing? Whoa! Let's see if you can go back. You want to go down here by your tray? What is that, huh? You want to check it out? Yeah, check it out. There we go. It's falling through the grate. There we go. And like I said, she's had this kind of a tray before. So she's loving this so far. Let's see what she's getting out of here. Oh, a shreddable first. Yep, she says, nope, don't want any of that because it's not edible, right? <laughs> there you go. Good job. You're working on that really good. What? What do you want, sweetheart? Come here. Hi. What you doing? You looking for some loving, huh? What are you doing, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute, except you're making it hard to film you, sweetie. There you go. There you go. Find it. What else is in there? There's some good stuff in there. Yeah. <gasps> Did you find a sunflower? Yeah, and she also knows that there's stuff in here. I always wrap stuff up. Um, I keep, actually, a bag right next to her cage. Because I'm all about making things simple. So I have a bag here of tissue all cut up in little squares and whenever I get a chance I just put something in it and hide it all around her cage like in her parrot pocket there or in her little foraging cups or even in her treat cage here. And this one is a little bit harder because I wrapped this one three or four times thick and so it's taken her a little bit longer to get to it which is just what you want. You want to keep them busy. Right? Good job. Look how cute you are. 
very good.